Happy Monday, everyone, and thanks for checking into Weatherbug. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson. Hope you enjoyed your last full weekend of October 2015. We are expecting, of course, more moisture to be lifting through the lower Mississippi Valley as uh, the remnants of Patricia push north. And interestingly, this is going to be meeting up with a cold front from Canada and intensifying a pretty decent storm system over the Great Lakes, the upper Mississippi Valley. The wind field will be intensifying and maybe even that snowfall potential increasing. So we'll talk about that. But today, marginal risk of severe weather across the Gulf Coast states. And again, that's in association with the remnants of which was Patricia. And of course, the general thunderstorm threat lifting north along with the area of low pressure. And as that cold air starts to kind of intertwine with uh, the remnants of Patricia, we have that storm system intensifying, maybe enough forcing on the eastern flank of that for some strong storms in southern Ohio then. But take a look. Still a lot of water down here, adding to some flood concerns yet through at least the early part of the day today, maybe into the afternoon as you travel east a bit as the thunderstorms lift north from the Gulf of Mexico. As that area of low pressure lifts north and meets up with that cold Cold from, from Canada. Again, the wind field really starts to tighten up here. Notice the lines of equal air pressure as they tighten up, the winds increase and starts to pull down enough cold air for that snowfall potential. Again, not a terrible amount, but still that chance. Heaviest rainfall over the next three to five days looks to be in the eastern half of the country. As you head back to the west, you are seeing some moisture. Nice to see this El Nino really help to bring in that moisture potential of the western U.S. where drought is at its worst, really, nationally speaking. Of course, the higher elevations of the Rockies expecting snow over the next five days. Also into the northeastern part of Minnesota, the UP of Michigan, and briefly, it looks like we'll have a warm-up into the early part of November. But again, that'll be briefly speaking before we cool back down fairly quickly. And that area of low pressure helps to tug down some chillier air to the far north by the middle and end of this upcoming week. And where we have the remnant moisture from Patricia here across the Gulf Coast states, it is going to be a little bit cooler than average. Not too bad in St. Louis and 88 for our friends in Phoenix.